hand into the back of Matt Bell, and that's the championship leader and the second place car in the points as well involved in that one. You can see the repair they did, and they've done a good one. They've gotten back on the lead lap. Pretty scary he wreck here, though, Calvin. Derek White just gets the worst of this as the Freedom Autosports Mazda collects the end of the pit wall barrier. Watch this. Into the crash barrels of then. The hit wasn't more direct. It's kind of glancing blow there off those sand barrels. Here we see the nine car exhaust damage from that tab in the rear from Nick Longy. And we'll move one side about four foot of it and they open this one back up. And Boss going for a ride here. Suspension failure there. Lucky he had a gravel trap to stop him. Just two cars entered by APR. There's the other one. Yeah. Caught the barrier. End of the race for them. Watch the holler. Something's getting Whoa. away. Ooh. And that's scary, actually, because if one of those corner workers wasn't paying attention behind the car, yes. that potentially is a really, really bad situation. Traction issues in the wet. Jim Flick with a harmless spin, luckily, that night. Pit strategy was playing its part during the course of the day. You see the Turner Motorsports car, Billy Orblin, coming down pit lane as Matt Plum now takes the lead. And yes, it was actually sunshiny at one point. Ryan Eversley battling with Stephen McAleer. McAleer goes under in the five, but at the top of the hill on the back straight, Eversley came right back by. Aaron Pavelita with a back into the guardrail, 360 continued on. Reported in that he got tipped into that spin by his GS car. You see cars already in the gravel trap. Here comes the ST leader. Peter Kleinubing getting big air. Watch the right of the screen. Here's Ryan Eversley. He went along for a ride as well. He think I got him, I got him, I got him. And then right now, he cannot get trapped. <laughs> Don't got him. Then it went off haywire all over the red track as the rain fell. 197, same place on the track. This is the scariest moment right here. Yeah. This all starts to go bad. The Roush Mustang, Bruce Joey Atterbury. Then watch Billy Johnson hit, and upside down he goes. Scary, scary stuff down here, high-speed section of the racetrack. Then it was a scary moment. You can tell he clips him. Fortunately, Billy was still strapped in, and he was okay. He climbs up out of the car, and he was okay, but not before this happened. Another one of the Porsches looking for a roll. Willie, Billy waves to the crowd. He'll cheer to see him get out. We were, too. We were really concerned. Look at that Mustang. I mean... I think we need a new car, Dan. We've still got 11 minutes remaining.